All right guys, so today I wanted to talk about the Husky 572 XP. So I bought this saw about one year ago now, and uh, the plan was buy it, compare it next to the steel, because I'm a steel guy, the 462, and uh, sell it. So what happened was I ended up keeping it. Uh, I got this saw for under $1,000. You usually can get them for under 1000 the uh, steel MS 462 is, I don't know, it's like 1400 now. The 500i is like almost 1700 I know you can get them a lot, or not a lot, but a little bit cheaper here and there. But um, I wanted to give you my review of this saw, and <clears throat> I love it. I mean, this saw, it rips. So being the price point, if I was just starting a firewood business, even being a steel guy, I would buy two of these saws before I bought maybe a 500i or a 462. Uh, if that's, you know, if money was kind of tight, because these saws, you know, for the price point, having two saws when you're cutting wood, especially cords, two cord, three cord at a time, uh, two saws, you know, you dull the chain, hit um, some metal in the wood or something like that. You just move over to the next saw or you fill up both saws. Sometimes they even run three saws. Um, cause I do have a bigger steel also, but, uh, you fill up, you know, a few saws and, and just keep cutting. And if you do hit something, you know, you can just grab another saw and just keep going instead of taking chains off or, you know, um, hitting them with the sharpener. So I bought 10 chains for this Husky at the Woodsman Field Days in New York. Uh, that show, I couldn't pass up the deal. It was a really good deal on 10 chains. And that's going to last me a long time with this saw because... Uh, basically, I'll hand file all the chains, you know, once they get a tiny little bit dull, I'll hand file them. Um, if I do nick them, I, I'll use the Dremel real quick, and I do have a steel uh, bench grinder for it also. So, other than that, I mean, I think these Huskies are pretty freaking cool saws. And, uh, you know, it, it, definitely check them out. You know, if you wanted to save some bucks and then want to buy, you know, say like a 500i, which is an awesome saw, it's just, you know, for the price point, um, this saw, you pretty much cut anything. Obviously, the bigger wood, you just go around the other side, finish it off. Uh, you don't need a big 40-inch bar. Um, it's nice to have it to make a nice, straight, clean cut, especially when uh, you're making, like, bundle wood and stuff. You don't want a curvy cut uh, going through. So sometimes if you go around the other side with the bar, you know, sometimes you can make a little bit of a curve in the cut or something like that. But, I mean, it works great. 24-inch bar on this. And... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm keeping this saw and I would definitely buy another one. So anyone looking for a saw for firewood or anything like that, I mean, the price for this saw, you know, you can't really beat it. So I'm going to cut a few rounds. Uh, we're cutting some wood today, but the neighbor's having a party this afternoon, so I'm not trying to make too much noise. Um, it's getting later in the day and uh, I'll let you guys see it rip. I just uh, hand filed it now.
All right, guys, what do you guys think? So she rips. So Husky definitely is a good saw. Um, I know, you know, some guys only will use Husky, only will use steel. I'm not like that. As long as it cuts, as long as it runs, it's a good saw. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the plan was selling this saw, but uh, you'll be seeing me using it a lot this winter and cutting a lot of wood. Um, Ten chains, whew, it's going to last me a long time because when you hand file, you really don't destroy the chain and take too much off. You get a lot of sharpenings out of it. So, uh, yeah, so guys, let me know what you think. The 572 XP, would you buy one? Or are you stuck with steel? You only want to buy a steel. Um, I really think uh, anyone trying to save a little bit bucks, you know, want, needs a saw for firewood, you know, second saw, whatever, maybe give one a try. And again, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and I'll see you on the next one.